heartbreaking memorial. Loved ones of a five year old little girl in Shelby Township remembering her life tonight after it was cut short. Brighton police finding her dead on Monday and they believe her mother killed the little girl and then herself. 7 Action News reporter Jen Sean spoke with family at the memorial for little Bella. Loved ones are not only devastated by this tragedy, they're also shocked. This park in Shelby Township is where Bella and her dad Nate would often take long walks in the summer months. Now Nate was too emotional to speak with us on camera tonight. However, loved ones tell us they hope the system changes so that tragedies like this don't happen again. So full of joy, always smiling. A teddy bear, flowers, and bright colored balloons for little Bella, a five year old who brightened everyone's lives around her. Saturday, loved ones came to River Bend's Park for a memorial. It's a place Bella and her dad Nate spent a lot of time. He quite often would walk down here with her pretty much daily in the summer. Now it's where Nate is saying goodbye. Brighton police believe Bella's mother, Melissa Party, drugged and strangled Bella to death before shooting herself. When I heard it, it was, I mean, a complete shock. Never even thought that this would happen in a million years. But Nate, who called for a welfare check when Party missed a custody handoff, says he saw red flags. In 2017, he called police when he saw Party, his ex, strangling Bella. A police report shows Party claimed she was a victim of domestic abuse. Nate says he also followed up with CPS and the courts seeking full custody, claiming Party was a danger to their daughter. We feel like this was preventable and should have been, there were signs and documentation about it. And, you know, our system's kind of, it's an uphill battle for a single father to get custody. Party's family couldn't believe this tragedy. It was such a shock for her to even to do something like this. It's not in her mentality. It's not. In, it's just not her. It's not in her character. She loved her kids. Party's brother tells me over the phone that he too hopes this tragedy serves as a reminder to speak up if you think something could be wrong within your family. However, as you heard him say, he did not see any of those warning signs or red flags. Well, today, of course, was about grieving for and mourning the loss of Bella. It was also about celebrating her precious life, as short as it was, in Shelby Township. Jen Schantz, 7 Action News.